the Muslims agree upon? No, he wouldn't do that. Okay, no. so that's it. There's no need to question no, anymore. He so he will not do that. He will not dare to do that. They will kill him immediately. So he is saying that and nobody oppose him. Nobody say you are lying. Nobody saying you are, this is stupid. Nobody, this book is exist and every mosque, every, every sheikh says Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir is a big shot, right? So when he said that, the rest go quiet. Yeah. Okay, so now what we would do? How a smart person like you accept what you call silly? Uh, by the way, you just said that Ibn Kathir is silly too. Just what you said. No, no, I didn't. No, no, please don't. Say, no, fact, I did not. I didn't say Ibn Kathir is silly. No, you I said, said, actually, you said bigger than this. You said this is silly. He's talking about what? He's talking about Allah words. So Ibn Kathir said that, according to you, you said, this is silly. So Allah is silly, Ibn Kathir is silly, and whoever believes in this is silly. That's what you said. Okay, okay, I understand, but uh, it couldn't it be like a miracle of God? It could. It could have okay. been a miracle. But, like, you know, Uthman, I, I don't want. I don't. I don't like hypocrites. I don't think you are one with them. But don't you think it is silly to say a second ago it is silly, and now suddenly the silly became a miracle? A second ago you said it is silly, and now you are saying it's a miracle. So how the miracle was a silly in the speed of light became a miracle. Well, I, I don't know how to explain this because uh, I, I I don't know how to explain this. This is just messed up. Uh, something surprising for me. Hmm. I never read it that way. I never knew it was a carpet or yeah, like so, what kind of carpet could it be? That I'm telling you, it's a very huge, uh, you know, uh, carpet. You know, a certain man, he carried all his kingship uh, equipment in the top of it, his army, his wives, his kingdom, everybody is not only certain man is flying in it, everybody. You said something about uh, 600,000 chairs uh, on the carpet. Can you show me that? Yeah, I will try to find you the you reference. Said... Hold on. <clears throat> And um, please uh, send me that link as well to Paltag. I think you already have. I will save it as well. Uh, uh, yeah. Give you what? <clears throat> and uh, you already sent me the link because I'm going to show the link to my uh, to my sheikh uh, later in the afternoon. No problem. Yeah. Let us see here. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let us see. I'm just trying to find where the, the flying uh, carpet. Um, are you in pain, my friend? Are you okay? I'm a little bit sick today as well. That's why. You're what? <sighs> I don't know. I have a feeling that you are going to leave Islam very soon. Okay. Prove to me. Nah. Listen. Um. What? There is not a single contradiction in the Quran, you know? You can't... Do you get what I mean? Hmm. There is no single contradiction? Yeah. Who said that to you? Because uh, God, uh, he challenged the Muslims and the jeans, okay? Hmm. To, like, uh, to find them. A single con uh, contradiction or to produce a chapter or a verse like this hmm. and no one could ever done and no one has ever done that till, till today oh, okay 
so if I show you how many contradiction you want to believe to because if you, you say it's single right so if we show you single that would be enough correct right? just one just one not not two not three not 100 just okay. a single one because okay. the Quran is the preserved word of Allah no problem so in the front of everybody if I show you that are you going to leave Islam or we are just you know just playing the game show me and I show you like, are you making a challenge? I'm not going to play any games with you. No, are you making a challenge? No, it's, it's not a challenge. My, my, my friend Othman. My, uh, Othman. It's I'm, not a challenge. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. And I believe you are not a kid too. You are a man, right? So I'm talking to you. Let us talk to each other in respect. So when you say to me, uh, uh, it's a challenge to show, uh, Allah, he made a challenge. Okay. So when you say that, it's mean this is super important. Yes. If we prove that this is false, that's mean Allah is false, correct? Yep, that's correct, man. Okay, so if and it's not and that challenge wasn't just for the humankind; it was also for the genes. Exactly. And, yeah. Exactly. So if I prove it to you, then you will leave Islam. Listen, CP. If you could, if you could have proved that uh, many of uh, no one can prove it. Do you get what I mean? Otherwise, it would be proven like, yeah, no one can prove it. Hmm. This is still my question. It's never is been done before. Still, still, my question is valid. If I prove it to you right now as we speak, even though I'm here for many hours and really tired, and if I prove it to you, do you promise me you will leave Islam? Okay, prove, prove to me first. That, that you, you, but it, it can't be out of context and you can't um, twist the words. Do uh, you know what I mean? No, I will not. Okay. Uh, actually, I will make you help me to get the contradiction. And I will take your words, not my words. Is that fair? Because if you if you see the Quran, if the Quran is filled with scientific miracles and literal literacy miracle, everything, man. Do you get what I mean? Well, uh, what I know that it is the opposite. The Quran is filled with miracles. Yeah, but I know it is the opposite. Here we go. Read for me this verse, please. And as you said, you know we don't want to take things out of context, so you give me the context. Chapter two. Verse number 29. What do you understand from this verse? I can't read Arabic. It's not in Arabic, in English. Go ahead. I can't see anything yet. I, do I have to refresh? Wait, maybe a second. We'll show, you, we'll show it to you. Give me one second. It is... Is the, it, are you showing me the verse 29? Yeah. All right. It is he who hath created for you all things that are on the earth. Moreover, his design compre uh, comprehended the heavens, for he gave order and perfections to the seven firemen and all things he had. Uh, mm. He had perfect knowledge. Mm. So what do okay, you how is this a contradiction? I'm not, I, I did not say anything yet. I'm asking you, what do you think about, what, what do you understand from this translation which you saw on the screen? What What, what is this verse saying? What do you understand as a Muslim? Yeah, that uh, this uh, translation is a bit uh, silly, a, a, a bit weird. No problem. I actually I changed translation because translation created. was not correct. So here it says it is he who created for you all in earth and heaven, and then he yeah, he, he, wrote, he rose up to the heaven. No problem. And then he made them seven heaven. Okay. So what do you understand from this? Allah created the earth first, or created which one he finished first? Based on this verse, the earth or the heaven? It is he who created for you all that is on earth. Then it's the world rose over towards heaven and made them seven heavens. <clears throat> so it's saying here he created the earth. Mm. And then made seven heavens and he's the owner of everything. Mm. So which one Allah finished first? Did he finish the earth first or he finished he, he finished the heaven first?
uh, uh, can you show me a tafsir or a or commentary on this one? Which one you want? Which tafsir you want? Because there is not a single uh, imam that will say that that Allah created the earth first and then the heavens. Okay, but the verse says that in front of you. It is he who created for you what is all in the earth, and then he went to the heaven and he made them seven heaven. So it's clear he finished everything in earth first, and then he went to the heaven. I mean, even this one need tafsir, but we can go, um, we can go no problem. Which which tafsir you want? I'm I'm saying uh, Jalalain or Ibn Kathir. Okay, any chapter of the two, here we go. Big Jalalain. ones. That's right. Big one, no problem. I like the big ones. Here we go. And this is the You don't like the big one. You always. What? Well, you, you, you Muslim big ones, all of you are small for me. This is the truth. I never find one, so it's always big. Here we go. It says, this is a Jalalain. It is he who created for you all that on earth, and that all that, or so that may you benefit from them. Okay, and then what it says? Um, then after uh, the, uh, read, read, read uh, me, read me, read me. And then after he create, create, after he create the earth, creating the earth, he turned to that and he made his objects heaven and leveled them. So the earth is done first. If you don't like Ibn Kathir, we can go to different interpretation. No, no, no. I like Sorry, I mean, Ibn Kathir. I mean, this is Jalalain. Let me read it. Yeah, we can go to Ibn Kathir too. This is Jalalain. Yeah. Uh, can I read it first, please? This is Ibn Abba. Let me go to Jalalain. Hold on. Let me go to Jalalain back. Here we go. This is Jalalain. Read it. Uh. What do you what what say? What do you think? What is your conclusion, Antonio? It is he who created for you hmm. in the in the earth that is the earth. Okay. and all that is in it so that you may benefit from and learn lessons from it. And then after creating the earth he turned to that is he made his objects heaven and level level from Okay. So, Let's go. Yeah, it's saying here he created the earth first, right? Now let us to confirm. Let's go to Ibn Kathir. Then, let's go to Ibn Kathir because now here it says that. Okay, we agree. So now let's go to Ibn Kathir and see if Ibn Kathir confirmed that too. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir. And now everybody will see in a second that this is what it is. It is horrible. What we can do. <laughs> All right, so this is Ibn Kathir, and Ibn Kathir again he will confirm that Allah he created the earth first. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir, let's read together. Um, so, okay, here we go. He created the earth, and Allah created the earth before the heaven. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. In, and when he read it, and when he created the earth, smoke <sighs> smoke burst out of it. Allah said. So even the smoke which was in the sky, there's nothing. The smoke is coming from the earth, and there's nothing in the heaven. So the verse confirmed that everything created first in earth, not in the sky. The sky was zero, and this is make a theory. <clears throat> Are I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. Okay, so now, no, we, 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 we did not show you the contradiction yet. We are just uh, saying hello, hold on. So now this verse confirm, and this is Ibn Kathir, this is Jalalain, and this is Yuskar saying, Allah created everything on earth before the heaven. That's wonderful. Let us go to a different verse in the Quran, different chapter, and then you will see the disaster. The Quran says,
in the following chapter. Hold on. And now you remember, you said to me, nobody can prove that the Quran have contradiction. The Quran, all of it is a book of contradiction. You made me laugh, my friend. That is the most funny challenge ever that is given to me. All right, let us see. Here, let us read together. Read with me carefully. This is the chapter 79, verse number 27. You can read even 10 verses before, who care? So here, but we are starting with 727 because chapter. it's talking about 20, 79, chapter 79, verse number 27. Yeah. Okay. Read with me. Are you more difficult to create or the heaven? Allah, he constructed. Okay, that's wonderful. He raised its height <sighs> and he has equal order. Okay, wonderful. And he made its night and he covered its darkness. That's amazing. And after that, he started working in the earth. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh, man. <laughs> Are you more difficult to create or is the heaven that he constructed? Oh, man. Hmm. Oh. Are you okay, my friend? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, man. Are you crying? Are you laughing? I don't understand what you are doing. No, I'm, I'm just reading the verse. Okay. So uh, that, that's the Greek contradiction. We just, we just agreed, me and you, that the previous verse says it clearly that Allah he created all that on earth and then he went to the heaven and even the smoke, we showed Ibn Kathir, even the smoke which was in the sky is nothing but from the earth because the earth was bursting with the smoke. Allah is cooking, here we go, says here. And the smoke burst out of it from what? Of the earth. So Allah created the earth before the heaven and when he created the earth, smoke burst out of it. And this is why Allah said, and then he turned up to the heaven and it was a smoke. So. The earth was created first, the earth was finished first, and then the sky was still empty, and even the smoke is there, is coming from the earth. In the same time, we just showed you the verse where it says that Allah, he start uh, working in the sky, in the heaven, uh, after, let us close down some pages, too many pages, all right? And after that, he spread the earth. So the heaven was finished uh, totally, first according to this verse and then after that Allah he went to the earth and he started doing the following he started making it flat and then he brought forth the water and then he put the mountains so this is total contradiction what do you think Yeah, it's it's <sighs> it uh, doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, and this is a clear contradiction. I mean, you do not need to be a genius to notice it, right? How can he create the earth and then create the heavens? Exactly. The earth, and I mean, how you can create something and you don't have a space for it? Shouldn't you create a space first? <laughs> and aren't we inside? It's like, are, it's are, like creating. Are, uh, Osman, aren't we inside the space right it's now? It's like. We are flying in the space. We are little dust. Yeah. So small, so small, it's so tiny. It's like a, like a, not even a size of a needle compared to the space. So. How this is happening? This is stupid. This is crazy. So it's as stupid as science. It is as stupid as contradiction. And you are the one who said to me, the Quran says actually that if this is a book is other made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. Correct? 
Allah, he said that. Like how can he create, it's like creating the earth and then the universe. Do you get what I mean? Uh. My friend, it's clear. Actually, I did not even show you. If I go to chapter 7, uh, 41, you will see it even more crazy because the order of a creation is different. Not only the earth first and, and the other chapter of chapter 41, your God is so confused. He starts with the creating the earth and then etc. Like, it's, uh, 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 sorry, cre uh, creating the uh, 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 in seven, in, we have 79, we have 49, uh, 14, uh, one, and we have chapter 2. Each one of them is a disaster by itself. And if this is a book is other than Allah, which means from God, then surely you will find much contradiction. The Quran says that. So even the Quran help us to come to a conclusion. If you want to find out if this is a book from God or not, find the contradiction. And you are the one who said to me, I challenge you, Allah, he challenged even the genie, not only the human. So look like I'm smarter than the genie too, not only the human, smarter than Allah. Oh. Uh, uh, somebody in the chat saying does not say that Allah created the heaven after the earth but Allah turns to heaven afterward no my friend here we go this is Ibn Kathir don't try to be smart here we go this is Ibn Kathir Allah created the earth before the heaven do you see it are you blind the one who's making comment Allah created the earth before the heaven, clear. And then even the smoke is a smoke bursting out of the earth. Because the verse after it says, and then he went to the sky and there was a smoke. So somebody might say, okay, with well, the smoke, there's a smoke there. The, uh, Ibn Kathir is saying to you, the smoke is burst out of the earth when Allah was creating it. And here, if you go down, here we go, Sahih al-Bukhari recorded that when Ibn Abbas was a question about this matter, he said, the earth was created before the heaven, and the earth was spread out only after the creation of the heaven. Okay, so the, the Allah, he made the earth flat after he created the heaven, but the earth still was created before the heaven. <laughs> trying to cover the contradiction, but that's it, it's too late. Because if we go in the Quran, here we go, the verse number, chapter numbers, uh, 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 if we go to chapter 41, let's go there and love together. This is chapter 41. It says here the following. Are you greater or Allah, he create like the, the earth in two days? Okay, the earth created in two days, wonderful. And then? And then he put mountains in the top of it and he put in it all sustenance which means trees etc water okay in four days so this is total of six days earth is done as a creation then earth whatever in the top of the earth is done including putting mountains on top so remember here the second thing allah he created after creating the earth is the mountains that's wonderful. And then he turned to the heaven. Okay, it was a smoke. Ibn Kathir said, the smoke is coming from the earth. This is not a smoke from the sky. Okay, and then he said to the earth and to the, uh, and to the heaven, both come willingly, and then he continued. And then he made them seven skies, and then he created the stars. So what is the last thing Allah created? The lamps. This is the chapter 41, verse number 12. Okay, take a note. The last thing Allah created here in chapter 41, uh, 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 listen, the last thing, take a note. The last thing Allah created in chapter 41, verse number 12, is what? The stars. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Let us go to chapter 79 and love together. <laughs> In chapter 79, read with me carefully. 
Remember, the stars are the last one to be created in chapter 41. In chapter 79, the first thing Allah created, it was whatever is in the sky. Read carefully. Are you more difficult to create or the heaven? He constructed and then he raised it above. And then he made the night and the day. This is the lamps. So in the, in the period number three, Allah, he created the stars. And after that, he started working in the earth. And after that, he brought the water. And after that, he put the mountains. So in chapter 79, the last thing Allah, he finished is the mountains. In chapter 41, the second thing Allah created is the mountains. In chapter 41, the last thing Allah created is the stars. In chapter 79, the third things Allah he did, it was the stars. And look, the verse is so clear. It says, and after that, there's no question. After that. But the chapter number two, and we showed you the verse, it says that Allah created for you everything in earth, and then he went up to heaven, and Ibn Kathir agree, Allah created everything in earth first. <laughs> so what more you want? A clear contradiction than this madness. This is God talking. What do you think, my friend? I think it's time for you to leave Islam. All right, okay, all right, okay, Mr. CP, explain this, okay? Then how does the Quran, how does Allah talks about the embryology and the Big Bang and all these things? Oh, no, nowhere Allah speaking about embryology. He's talking about stupidity. If you go in the Quran, you will see that what the Quran is saying is a joke because what he says is that the sperm became a congealed dead blood. And you can go to any, any university in the world and you will see this is silly. Have you ever heard of a God, he say, that claim that the sperm became a dead blood? That is embryology for you? It doesn't, does it say, it doesn't say that. It says that in front of you. Here we go, read it. This is the chapter 23, verse number 14. Chapter 23, chapter 23, verse 14. <coughs> <coughs> All right, do you read it? Uh. Oh, man. So this is the embryology of, of God? The sperm became a clot? According to your knowledge, you are, you are laughing, right? No. Uh. According, to, according to science, Othman, how many days the sperm can live, do you know? According to science? Yeah, how many days the sperm, the semen, can live? Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's one day? Uh, no, actually a few days. You can search Prophet Google, peace be upon him. You can search right now, me and you. How long sperm live in the women, in the body? Let us see what the answer will be. Here we go. I just search Google. It says five days. Correct? It says five days, correct? Yeah. Okay. According to your prophet, how many days? It doesn't say how many days. No, your prophet, he is a doctor, so, you know, he has ten tons of uh, YouTube videos. 
He keep talking. At that time, there's no YouTube, but he, there is a hadith. He keep talking. Your prophet, he never stopped talking. So how many days according to your prophet? What do you think? You can guess. What do you think? Like what is, how big is the error of your prophet? Is it a day? Or is it two? Or is it five? So how many days are going to your prophet? What do you think? What do you think? Well, it can't be more than five days. All right, here we go. This is otherwise. It's this, is from, this is from Al Bukhari and Muslim, as you see in the screen, and this is the Hadith. Your Prophet says that the sperm stay inside the mother womb, the semen, for forty days, and then he became. Uh, can I? And then he became a, a, a blood, a congealed blood. 40 days. Can I see? Uh, there's nothing on my screen. Yeah, it should be in your screen now, by now. Okay, this is Bukhari. This is Bukhari and Muslim. And this is now we are reading from the book of yeah. Riyadh al-Salihin, and he is referring to Bukhari and Muslim, as you see. And this is the hadith number. And here it says, that the prophet said that the human being the sperm the semen is gathered in the womb of the mother for 40 days oh man so remember Uthman, you said to me prove it first and i proved to you many things already so are you going to say i'm out of time my friend are you a person who keep his promise Uh, I'm scared. Why you are scared? For my soul. Well, you know, here we go. This guy is a liar.